Hey everyone, welcome to Singularity Hardware Order Analysis Video 6. Now I have a lot of hardware to cover here today. Some of this hardware is for two Singularity client builds, one of which I'm definitely going to be covering in another video. The other one I might be covering, not sure at this point in time. The rest of the hardware, I cannot say what it's for at this point. I, yeah, I'm keeping it a secret. I have something really big coming up. So, yeah, I'll have a look at it, talk about it, but yeah, I can't talk about what it's for yet. Okay, so first of all, you can see we have two Intel socket 1155 CPUs up here, a Core i3-2100. So this is for one of the client builds and the Core i5-2500 is for the other client build. So I won't go into the specifications of these CPUs. Basically, neither of them are unlocked. You can get an unlocked multiplier variant of the 2500 the 2500K, so this is the non-unlocked version because the customer is certainly not going to be doing any overclocking so yeah, it just wasn't worth paying the extra because it's never going to be overclocked. Next to them we have a water block, a CPU water block. This is the EK Supreme HF. This is actually the newer version with the Electrolis nickel plating because they had some trouble with the nickel plating on well their older nickel plating technique and they've updated it to fix it now so this has got the updated nickel plating it's a, a nickel plexi version of the water block which means it has a transparent top and then it's silver underneath nickel plated copper actually so this also has the easy mount system which EK released I think it was a few months back but it doesn't have the jet plate 6 which they're now releasing in their CPU water blocks in the Su Supreme HF and also the light version of this water block and it also doesn't have the mounting system for socket 2011 which I believe that they're well, yeah from now on they're also including that with their water blocks anyway I'll give you a quick look at this water block so here I have an EK Supreme HF water block, that's what it looks like. Well that's what one of the versions look like at least. That's the nickel, the pure nickel version. There's also a gold version. There's copper acetyl, copper plexi, nickel acetyl, nickel plexi and the list goes on. Next up we have an 8 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance DDR3. It's the low profile in black and it runs at 99924 1.5 volts. This is for one of the up upcoming client builds. Now for a close up look of the memory. Green PCBs which is not so good but you know, these modules are extremely cheap so low profile heat sinks are really good to see. Gives you more options with CPU coolers. Just looking at the specifications there. Also, for one of the upcoming client builds, I have the Corsair CX430. Here I have a couple of optical drives, which are for both the client builds. Above this, you can see a copy of Windows. This is Windows 7 64-bit Home Premium. Next up, a, an 8GB kit of G-Skill Ripjaws X. These run at 1333 megahertz, 77721, 1.5 volts. Just a close up look at the memory. So, the Ripjaws X kits, I really like the heatsink design. It's not too high. And they've also got black PC, PCBs, which is excellent to see. Just a look at the specifications now. I've actually done a review on a, a similar kit. Make sure you click on the link on the screen to check that out. Here I have a motherboard for one of the client builds. It's the Asus P2 
P8Z68M Pro. I've previously done a review on this motherboard, so click on the link on the screen to check that out. I actually, I've used this in a couple of client builds previously, and yeah, I stick to the, the brands that work for me for my client builds because obviously I have to provide a three, well I have to provide a warranty, I provide a three year warranty, and I use parts that I've had good experience with because I don't want to, you know, go experimenting with other parts, even though I know they're good. It's just a matter of my personal statistics. Whatever I've had the least problems with, I'll stick with for my client builds because I want to provide something that's reliable and that's going to last them a long time. Okay, so to go with the dual pump top, I have these Bits Power D5 slash MCP655 mod kits. Now these ones are actually in black. Now I absolutely love these Bits Power mod kits for this particular pump. Basically if you buy the full mod kit it comes in two parts. You get the, the pump top area in one and the back of the pump in another, in another kit. These parts come in black or silver at this point in time. So every build that I've used the MCP655 pump in, I've always used these Bits, Bits Power mod kits because they look great and they work great. I highly recommend them. Here I have a Bits Power dual D5 mod top. This is the black version. There's also a clear version which I'll show you now in one of my systems. Okay, here's the clear version of the pump top. The black version is completely black except for this part just here which is clear so that you can see the coolant. Also just underneath you can see the mod kits. So these are exactly the same mod kits, same colour. I actually have the silver version of the mod kits in a different build which I'll show you now. So here I have the silver mod kits and also the black version of the single pump tops. So I've got two of these here on the MCP655s. So these have four bits power mod kits. As I mentioned the single pump top front and the silver mod kit on the back you can just see it through there. Finally I have the Silverstone Temjin TJ08E. Now this is a an excellent little MATX case. I've actually done a review on this previously. I've also done a client build into it, a couple of client builds actually. I'll put a link on the screen to the review and the client build. So as you can see it has front panel USB 3, it's got dust filters on all the fans, it has a 180mm Silverstone air penetrator fan included in the front of the case. The motherboard is actually mounted upside down in, in this case and yeah it faces the other side. So it's an interesting little design and it works really well. Really impressive little case. So that sums up Singularity Hardware Order Analysis Video 6. As you might have gathered, I have some big things coming up on my channel very soon. I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited about showing you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and favourite if you want to see more.